customer experience management is a very important issue in telecommunications at the moment. And here at Total Telecom TV, I'm talking to George Rees of Telstra Global, who's just made a presentation at Communication in Singapore. George, tell us about your sort of experience of customer experience management. Is there a special recipe? Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting, you know, everyone's always looking for the, the secret recipe or the secret to success. I think the secret is that uh, there is no secret at all. I think you just need to make sure that your, your business is doing everything it possibly can to enhance the customer experience. And it's proven that the, the companies that, that don't focus on it and spend time in making sure that the customer experience is a positive one have seen it in their, their, their results. Um, for us, uh, we've seen that customers are getting more and more um, savvy around the offerings of all the global telcos. And if there's ever been one differentiated account on, it's your focus in the overall customer experience. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all had experiences of bad customer experience. Um, how could you, can you put a value on it? Uh, sure, you can measure it probably in, in several ways. Um, you know, you, you could take a look at and, and, and look at, you know, are you able to uh, increase your, your share of wallet with your customers? Uh, are you able to grow the business in other areas of, of, of that customer? Um, is your customer happy? Is he an advocate? Is he recommending your, you, know, you as a, uh, a global provider to uh, other, other businesses? Uh, you know, for us, we utilize um, Net Promoter Score to be the, the, the judge of whether or not we're doing the right thing from a customer experience perspective. We look at uh, all our customer advocates, focus on where we need to improve, and for, for Telstra Global, it's a very important initiative for us to make sure that we're continuously improving our, our overall experience to our customers to make sure that they see that we're 100% focused on making sure that they're happy. Yeah, is it very much a partnership thing? How important are partnerships in this area? Yeah, you know, uh, quite important uh, because uh, as many as many global suppliers, uh, you deliver a service on net where it's something that uh, an experience that a, a customer will feel. But as you do a very good job in, 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 in from a customer experience perspective in deploying that, customers will want more services from you. And in order, in some cases, to 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 provide you know to provide those services to for customers, you need to rely on suppliers. So it's very important that your suppliers are delivering services at best as good as you are on your own network. Because if there's any slight uh, decline in, in, in service, customers will look at it and say, well, they're unable to manage their partners very well. So for us at Telstra Global, we've focused a lot to make sure that our partners are performing uh, at a minimum as, as, as good as we are on our own network. Therefore, the customer sees a seamless experience and an enjoyable experience that, that allows us to continue the relationship on for many years. Okay, now just, just sort of moving forward, if I was looking to improve my own performance in this area, what are the kind of steps that you need to put in place? Well, you have to really reflect within. It's, it's, this is as much of an internal uh, role as it is an external partnership you know, discussion. You have to look at what you do well. What have your customers told you that you've, you've done well? And what have your customers told you that you need to improve on? Or why has it been that you've lost business? What, what, is, what happened that you can reflect on? And if you pick certain initiatives that are, are important for you to, to uh, become better at, then I think in focusing in those areas is going to improve the overall experience to, to the customer. But it doesn't stop there. Because typically, this is a, a multi-organization uh, event within, within a business. It includes not only pre-sales, but also post-sales. Everyone has to be on the same page and working to make sure that the customer is happy. So it comes from top down to make sure that the focus and the priorities are there. And then it just go, it, it's just around you know, striking the right mixture between your teams around processes and sub-processes and metrics to make sure that you are hitting the right notes with the customer. Okay, well look, thanks very much for talking to us today. We'll see if it has any effect as my role as a consumer. Fantastic, thank you so much for having me.